What's going on folks? Adam here with Free to Prowl. Thanks for stopping in. We are up here in Schwamigan Bay looking for a strange looking fish. Some call it the burb, some call it the pout, some call it the lawyer, freshwater cod, whatever you want to call it. We are up here to pound some pout. That's the plan. This is risky, Adam. Oh my gosh! No, do not slack. That wasn't the original plan. It's actually up here doing some trout fishing. If you can't tell, it's bitterly cold out. Uh, that kind of shut off. So, got a hot tip um, from Dave. Thank you very much, Dave, if you're watching this on a burbot bite. So, we're going to get out here for the evening, get out of the hotel, hang out a few hours, try and pound some burbot here in uh, the middle of February. They should be coming up um, out of the main basin to come spawn. So that's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna get out here, try and check another species off the list, and bring it to you guys live. Well, not really live, but we're gonna bring it to you. So that's the plan. Hopefully, hopefully it goes to goes to plan. It's been a tough week up here, but nonetheless, we're having fun. We're out free to prowl, even though we're battling the bitter cold. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. We love bringing you guys along on our outdoor adventures, exploring public access, public waters, public lands, having fun outdoors, and just uh, just being free. And that's what we love. So if that all sounds tasty, please hit that subscribe button. We love bringing you guys on our adventures. So without further ado, let's get to getting... It's about 6.15. Gonna be out here for a couple hours, maybe a few hours, who knows. I really have nothing better to do than sit in the hotel, so why not be out here trying to pound some pout? A mud flat that they like to spawn on adjacent to some deeper water. So, um, not really fishing a break or anything, just fishing a flat. And this is just kind of a nice flat that comes out at the bottom of the break. Um, so, we're gonna pound the bottom. Um, not much else other than that so we got the pan optics zoomed in right on the bottom we'll see if a big long long cod comes in hopefully we can tear into a couple never done it always wanted to sounds like it's a pretty fun bite and they can they can be pretty aggressive and uh, fight so I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to eating some too I heard they are like lobster of the fresh water so we're going to get after it and have some fun, so stick with us. Well, we've reached the end of another successful trip out here on Mille Lacs. We didn't catch a ton of fish, but we caught some quality fish. We spent good time with family, ate good food, had a blast like usual. But we're gonna head on oh, I think that's one! Put this freaking camera. I got something messing around down there. Oh, yes. I hope this is a burb. This will be the first burb ever. fish if you've never seen one that's it <laughs> yes <laughs> well there you go what a crazy looking fish they are strong that body is just it's very strong he's fighting me right now to stretch them out but um, they are part of the cod family they get way bigger than this way fatter than this um, they're a crazy species man they're uh, part of the like I said part of the cod family and cod are obviously an ocean fish um, but these things uh, are c coming up to spawn this time of year and uh, I've always wanted to catch them hopefully I can get a couple more they're cool cool fish cool fish man we're gonna get back down there looks like there's a couple more on the screen so 
that's what that came off of. Big nasty tackle, three quarter or half or uh, one ounce. Um, I think they call this the pelt pounder spoon um, for this reason. Heavier spoon, you're basically just sitting on the bottom, pounding bottom, picking that thing up, getting these fish attracted to the area, and then they can key in on those baits. So every hook is tipped with a minnow, two live full minnows, and I cut one in half just for that extra scent. Um, something to uh, something for them to key in on. They don't have the best sight, um, so it just gives them something else to key in on. I guess I learned that from the sturge, sturge hunting. Um, so that's uh, that's our setup. Looks like we got a couple more fish down there. I don't know if they're the right species or not. They all just bolted when I got to the bottom, but hopefully, hopefully. So as is true with any of our nighttime fishing is, what are we gonna eat? I mean, that's actually all of our fishing. We're always eating something, but we got Pot stickers! Pork pot stickers. Tender dumplings filled with pork and freshly cut cabbage and green onions. Lime ponzu sauce included. Ooh, sounds delicious. So we're gonna throw these on the old Mr. Buddy, wrap them up in fuel, or throw those on the Mr. Buddy wrapped up in foil, and uh, get to eating as we're fishing, so. One of the keys with cooking on your heater is flipping. That's hot. So I always carry a glove with me. These are just old work gloves. But yeah, flip your heater grate upside down. This is the top. The part with the caution is the bottom. So simply put it in up here, upside down, same mounting holes. Let her hang. She hangs out in front. You can cook on this. I've cooked brats on here i've cooked burritos i've cooked hot pockets kept brats warm in a bath of uh <laughs> um beer i mean you can cook however you want on this thing it's pretty handy they make some connections or some attachments that actually go behind the grate that you can cook on might be a little safer mr buddy says don't do this but i haven't had a problem doing it if you cook like brats and stuff just make sure your grease isn't dripping on the flame that can cause some issues but other than that Simply put your packet on here, let her eat while you're fishing. There you go. That is uh, nine or ten pot stickers going on the heater. Just rotate her around. Make sure you're watching it. Obviously, it can get pretty hot on the one end, but keep an eye on it and you're good to go. No more burb yet, but we got pot stickers to eat and review. We got more things than just the review here going on. I don't want to miss any burbot here. Give that a little drizzle on there. Oh yeah, all over those babies. Okay, here we go. It's good. I mean, it literally tastes like a normal normal pot sticker. I mean, like you'd get in a restaurant. Evenly heated up. You could get them crispier if you wanted to. That sauce is good. It's got a little bit of uh, pepper flakes in it. Not spicy though. Sweet. A little tang. I'm gonna give a 7-2 on the slightly chunky Midwestern Outdoors food review. That's where we're at. Pagoda. <clears throat> Pagoda pork pot stickers. Check them out on your next adventure. Cook them on the Mr. Buddy. Cook them on your propane heater. Cook them outdoors. It was like, let me make you a fresh one. I just thought about a fresh one. We're on a budget. We got our car waiting. We gotta go to another place. We line it up. It's like, all right, we're gonna be here. And then we'll call the next one. So we, because if we go to five places a day, we're out with bum fuck Staten Island. Oh, that feels like a good one. We're Damn it, Dave. Portnoy. Oh, he's bold.
bulldog and right at the hole. I'll let you burn yourself out a little bit, boss man. It definitely feels a lot better, a lot better, a lot better. Damn it! Stuck on the hole. It's stuck on the hole. I can't get his head in. I don't know what it is. This is risky, Adam. I think he was hooked on the ice. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, do not slack me. Yes. Bigger bird! Woo! What a fight that was. Oh man. <laughs> that was. Crazy. He got, I think he got stuck on the bottom of the hole. Look at that spoon. Big nasty tackle. Spoon right in the lip of his mouth. Look at that guy. I mean, that's my PB. It's only my second one, but man, they crush it. Look at that. Got his little bottom walking fins deals, whatever those are. Yeah, that thing is long. Can't even get her in camera. <laughs> They're just so strong and muscular, and obviously that's the same word, Adam. But yeah, and then they just contort their body, and they're just—they're not. I'm not gonna say they're slimy, but they don't have scales. They're just really smooth compared to like a fish, right? It's probably like a catfish. But yeah, awesome. We're gonna put this guy on the ice and get back down there. Give this maybe a, another hour or so now that we got another one. So, <laughs> well, folks, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, nothing too wild, but I'm happy you guys got to join in. This is a species I've uh, been after or wanted to chase for a while. This is the, actually the first time chasing them officially. Um, actually, I take that back. I tried fishing them on Lake Winnebago last winter and I ended up striking out, but. Um, thank you, Dave, for the tip. I appreciate it. Um, it's uh, it's something that uh, that goes a long way, right? Um, I uh, I cherish those people who are willing to share tips and tactics, um, and sometimes locations with me. It takes a little bit to 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 offer up that that knowledge and that info. So I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping in here on our first bourbon adventure. Hopefully, there's many more. But you know the routine. Don't forget you are free to prowl, and as always, thank Yvette for their service. We'll catch you on the next one.